the thermal's in. The Incendus is here. We've been working on it. It's ready to go. This is the AccuFire Incendus thermal clip-on. This is the first thermal clip-on that also has a standalone reticle, so you can actually run it uh, by itself as its own optic. Um, but you also put it in front of any uh, uh, traditional optic too, as long as you have a full uh, a pick rail, a way to mount it in front of it. This is our two up to 20 by 50, so you can see the end objective here is a significant, dif significant difference, but it still works really well. So the end objective of your optic does not matter, which is uh, really important for when doing this. It's standard mill height, so you can really do, uh, you know, it's very versatile. And that was our key. Versatility, under $3,000, this is a thermal that can do it. Um, so, you know, for, for me, I'm the type of person I kind of like to scan uh, as I'm out hunting so I don't wear my arms out. So you can actually scan with this. There's an eyepiece that comes with this. There's a little eye shroud here so you can take this off and scan with it if you want to, if you want it. I don't personally use it, but it's there. Um, and then you can clip it back on without doing any work at the range, without actually going in to sight it in and to do actually uh, the, the work to sight this in, you're gonna be within two MOA at any distance with your with your optic without doing any work on it. And that's kind of one of the things we really wanna make sure was, uh, was there. We're actually going to go from the uh, from the lens back and kind of go through every detail of what is offered here and what it goes on with the uh, the incendus. So on the very first, you have a germanium lens, which is where the thermal core with all the action really happens. This is where the 384 core, uh, uh, 17 micron, 60 hertz sensor is. Right. This is where this all starts. So what you have here is this is the power button. This is obviously it's a power button. Hey, turn it on and off. Crazy concept. But it's also where you can do your manual nuke. So if you need to. Uh, if you're seeing some type of uh, temperature changes or it just needs to be kind of resynced, you can tap that and that'll uh, give you an auto nuke to shut the internal shutter, which there is an internal shutter on the inside of this uh, as part of that. Uh, when you do that, it'll actually, uh, it'll kind of nuke it for you and, and reset that, that uh, the temperature. This button here, this is going to be your, your forward button. Uh, this is actually where your zoom is. So you, this comes with a 1, 2, and 4x zoom. Um, and it's all digital zoom, so it'll you know zoom in on target, and it, it actually works with this uh, as a standalone. You can use a zoom, or obviously with a clip-on, you can use it, or if you're using a scanner. This one is going to be the M or the menu button. Uh, if you just use a, a short press on this, this actually will take you. Uh, this will take you through the different environment settings in there. There's three different environment settings, and then uh, this a long press on this will get you to the menu uh, function. Um, inside of this menu, we're actually we're going to have a more detailed video later on going through the menu of this. Uh, to show you how to kind of uh, work your way through it. The cool thing about it is the way it's set up is once you get used to it, it takes, I'd say, two or three uh, good, uh, you know, times in the field. It's almost like playing a trumpet. You can just do it without even looking at it, which is, which is kind of cool. And then the last button closest to you that's going for, uh, towards your eye or down, that's going to be your color change. Here we have white hot, black hot, green hot, and red tracker.